The new Insta360 Flow promises to be one of the best smartphone gimbals of 2023 with their all new AI tracking technology. In this video, we will compare it to the trusty old DJI Osmo Mobile 6 and we will find out which one is better. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Julian. I'm the creator of Smartphone Filmmaking Pro. And in case you're new here, welcome. Super glad to have you. On this channel, we talk about making better videos with our smartphones and I share some tips and tricks and I also review the latest and greatest gear. So in case that's interesting to you, you might consider hitting that subscribe button. In this video, we'll compare the Insta360 Flow to the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 in eight different categories. And in the end, we will find out which one is the better option for you in 2023. The gimbals are very similar in most things and in my testing I found two to three things that did make a difference for me in the end. At the bottom of this video you will find timestamps to each category so if you do not have the time you can jump around and only watch the categories that are most interesting for you. However make sure to watch till the end because category number eight might be the most interesting one and the category where I could see the biggest difference between the two. But without any further ado let's get started. The first category is what you get in the box and what this all costs. Both gimbals can be bought in different bundles and the cheapest that you can get to the Insta360 Flow as of recording of this video is $159 and on the other hand the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 costs the exact same thing. With the Insta360 standalone package you get the gimbal itself, a pouch, a magnetic clamp, a grip cover and a USB to USB type C cable. With the Osmo Mobile 6 on the other hand you get pretty much the same packaging content plus there you also get a mini table tripod this one right here and with the insta360 this is almost built into the handle like this the insta360 does also have a crater kit which will run you 209 dollars and a pro tripod kit that will run you about 193 dollars with the om6 you can buy add-ons such as a magnetic clamp with a built-in light or a proper carrying case or a combo package with their dji mic but that will cost you a whopping $500. So long story short, the packaging content is pretty similar. And if you add different things, you also come up to almost the same costs. So with this first category, I will call this one a draw. The second category is the design and the portability. And of course, generally speaking, when we talk about design, this is a very individual thing. What I like might look horrible for you and vice versa. But overall, I think that both of them look pretty sleek and minimal. I like the dark design of the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 and I like the minimal layout. The Insta360 Flow on the other hand also looks very minimal. It just looks a bit different with this large part right here. I personally do like the design of both of them. I think you can't go wrong with either of them when it comes to design. Also the way on how they work with the magnetic clamp. This is pretty much identical. So overall they are very very similar. I do think that the grip of the Insta360 is a bit small like this but of course you can just you know bring that tripod down and then you have a longer grip and in case you want to you know make it smaller then basically you can just put it in and then you have a smaller you know gimbal for the go. When it comes to the portability, both are fantastic and pretty much the best in class. When folded down, the size of both of them are pretty much exactly the same. So overall, you just got to decide for yourself which of the designs look better to you personally. But when it comes to, you know, just comparing the facts, they are very, very similar. So in the end, I have to call this category a draw again. The third and next category is a very short one. And I promise this won't be a draw again. And that is all about the battery life. DJI claims to have a battery life of around about six hours when having a good balance and the Insta360 Flow claims to have a battery life of twice of that so there you will get 12 hours. The larger battery also enables you to use your Insta360 Flow as a power bank for your smartphone even whilst you're using it for shooting purposes. In normal day-to-day -day situations I think both of them will bring you through a day easily but when it comes to the battery life this category goes to the Insta360 Flow. The fourth category is a very important one and that's the smoothness and the stability of the shots that you can get with each of these gimbals. So one thing that I always say and that's also true with these gimbals is you have to know what you're doing because that's in the end determining like how smooth your shots are going to be. And that's also the reason why we have created Smartphone Filmmaking Pro in the first place. If you want to learn more click that link in the description. If you take a look at the shots that I took with these gimbals side by side you can barely see a difference between the 
too. Both deliver very smooth shots and like I said, when used correctly, both will be pretty much as smooth as it somehow gets. Both gimbals also have an extension pole built into the handle and when you use the extension pole, you do lose a bit of the stability just because it's just further out. And But overall, as you have noticed, these gimbals are very damn similar. So this category also is unfortunately a draw again, but make sure to stick till the end. We will have more categories where it won't be a draw. The fifth category is about the payload and the balancing process. So how much can these gimbals carry and how long does it take you from, you know, putting your phone into the clamp until you can start shooting. The balancing process with these two gimbals is very simple to explain. And to be honest, there is no balancing process. Basically, you just put a clamp on your phone. I would recommend to center it on the back of your phone and then the magnets will do its thing. This is what the process looks like on the Osmo Mobile 6. And this is also what the process looks like on the Insta360 Flow. Both of them have a payload of 300 grams. So that's absolutely identical. I have tested the OM6 in the past and it could handle a small filter with my iPhone 14 Pro, but it failed with bigger add-ons such as an add-on lens, for example. For this test, I was using the Galaxy S23 Ultra and this is a heavier and bigger phone compared to the iPhone. And I tried attaching a big ass 77 mil filter. And long story short, both gimbals failed in this test. Neither of these gimbals could handle that heavy payload. So a small filter on an iPhone might work, but overall these gimbals are meant and designed to be used naked with just your smartphone. So again, this category is a draw. All right, next category is about mounting accessories. And this is a huge one that very often gets overlooked. Mounting accessories such as a microphone to smartphone gimbals usually is a pain in the ass as they do not have any mounting points. The Insta360 Flow has solved this issue in a very smart way. At the bottom of this extension or of this pole, basically, you basically just have a lid that you can open up and basically you just open it up like this. And there you have a cold chew mount and there you can basically put in your wireless microphone system. This is, in my opinion, a small feature that adds massive benefits to the Insta360 flow and the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 does not have an option like this. So this category goes to the Insta360 flow. All right, the next category is about the different modes that the gimbals have to offer and how you can change between them. Previously with the DJI OM5, so the predecessor of this one, you always had to go into the DJI Mimo app to be able to change between the different modes at all, which was a nightmare in my opinion. With the Osmo Mobile 6, they have definitely improved that. Now you can change between five different modes on the gimbal itself without the need of any specific app. You get the follow, the pan tilt follow, the FPV, the spin shot. And if you press this button here at the back for a long time, you can also access the locked mode. On the Insta360 Flow, on the other hand, you can also change between five different modes. You get an auto mode, a follow, a pan tilt follow, and FPV. And then you can also press this button at the back and then you can also access the locked mode. I was very curious to see what the auto mode is doing and I was reading it's geared towards beginners. And basically I could not really tell a difference between the auto mode and the pan tilt follow mode, but basically it's just following your movements and it's just smoothing out your shots basically. In the app, you can also use different effects and also access the spin shot mode on the Insta360 flow. But overall, again, when it comes to the different modes, they are very, very similar. When it comes to changing the modes on the Osmo Mobile 6, basically you just press the M button once and on the Insta360 flow, basically you just use the touch sense wheel and you basically just spin it to change between the different modes. So in the end, there is not really a difference between the two when it comes to the different modes. So this category once again is a draw. But now finally, we come to the last category and probably the most interesting one. And that is the tracking features of these gimbals. And that's where the key difference between these two gimbals really come out. In almost all other categories, they are shockingly similar. But this is where the difference between these two really comes out and where the AI technology of the Insta360 comes to shine. With the OM6, you can track people and objects within their DJI Mimo app. And this is called ActiveTrack 5.0. And this does work 
actually pretty well, especially with people and faces. Within the app, you can basically just select a face or an object and it will start tracking the subject. If it loses a subject, it does have a very hard time coming back and recognizing the face or the object. And this is where the massive difference between the OM6 and the Insta360 Flow really comes out. The tracking on the Insta360 Flow is called Deep Track 3.0. And this is finally where the biggest difference between the two gimbals comes up the tracking on the insta360 flow well it's just way better it works in any frame rate with any lens and in any resolution and overall it just does a better job at tracking objects you can start the tracking with just a simple hand gesture and this system is smart it recognizes your face and it will only track you and no one else also if you leave the frame that's a massive difference compared to other gimbals and overall it's just more snappy and more accurate compared to the dji OM. So if the tracking feature is something that you rely on, if you want to film yourself when you're, I don't know, playing basketball, doing some skateboarding or whatever that you might be doing, also doing some live streams or some cooking sessions, whatever, I think the Insta360 Flow is very hard to beat in that regards because it just has a different technology and it just works, you know, pretty much in a different league, to be honest. So the point for the tracking category goes to the Insta360 Flow. All right, so now what is the overall conclusion? Conclusion. Well, overall, as you have noticed, both gimbals are very similar in a lot of situations. And I think the small feature that actually makes the biggest difference for me personally is the microphone mount because this just makes my life so much easier when I'm using a gimbal and I also want to capture some proper audio. I also think if the tracking feature is important for you, then like we've talked about before, the Insta360 Flow is definitely a better option compared to the DJI OM6. The Insta360 flow is also capable of making a full 360 degree panoramic photo mode automatically which the OM6 cannot do. In the end, of course, you have to decide for yourself and both will deliver great results in most situations. The Insta360 Flow does also have a bigger battery and also the microphone mount is a killer feature for me personally. But like I said, in the end, you have to decide for yourself and you can't really go wrong with either of them. In case you have not seen the video where I'm showing you how you can make cinematic videos with your Galaxy S23 Ultra, then click this video over there. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.